Sonny Hostin's comments on The View about the urgent need for gun control in the wake of the attempted assassination of Donald Trump have sparked a whirlwind of emotions and opinions, highlighting the deep divide in American society regarding gun culture. Just last month, 10% of those surveyed said that the use of force is justified to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president. A third of those who gave that answer said they also owned a gun. Then 7% of those surveyed said they support force to restore Trump to the presidency. Half of them said they owned guns. So I know everybody always says it's too soon to talk about guns and that we should, because there has been a, a terrible death of a father of two, um, that we should, thoughts and prayers should be where we go. Mm -hmm. I say no. I say now is the time to talk about the common denominator when it came to this assassination attempt is America's fascination and obsession with owning guns. And <laughs> just, that's, that's the truth. Um, and I like the guns. things, they're, they're rifles, they're AR-15s and, and bump stocks. Rifles. And, and the Supreme Court just found that it's fine yeah. to have bump stocks. And so I'd like to think that the issue of gun control would resonate now more. The public fiercely defends the Second Amendment, seeing gun ownership as an essential liberty. To many, Hostin's words come across as a direct assault on these cherished rights, a call for stringent gun control that could threaten personal freedoms. The notion of needing more good guys with guns resonates deeply, stirring empathy among those who champion personal responsibility and the inherent right to self-defense. They argue that responsible gun ownership prevents violence rather than incites it. Hostin's remarks are seen by some as a politically charged move, leveraging the incident to advance a progressive agenda. Critics suggest that instead of vilifying gun ownership, the focus should be on tackling the underlying causes of violence in society.